about IOC containers and types of dependency injections like we discussed two types setters and constructor dependency injections and we discussed about types of dependent parameters primitive types arrays collections and all this we discussed so types of dependent parameters and auto wiring and we know how to restrict the setter dependency injection by using dependency check we can apply dependency checking by using dependency check and as well as by using required annotation and auto wiring we can do dependency injection automatically by using auto wiring so we know auto wiring and we know how to reduce ambiguities by using auto wire candidates and the same thing we can do by using at the rate auto wire and by using qualifier we can reduce ambiguities so under qualifier actually we have to use value that value id we have to pass and the version will support spring 3.0 version will support and the last session discussed what we discussed in last session stereotype annotations so by using this stereotype annotation object creation responsibility also we can assign to the ioc container by using auto wiring automatically we can inject objects already container created objects we can inject but who need to declare that objects under spring xml file we need to declare that beans but coming to the stereotypes you no need to declare right beans also we no need to declare in xml file we no need to declare but that class package name we should put under auto scanning so by using auto scanning it will scan that package if it find any stereotype annotated class that annotated class object ioc container automatically it can create and by using auto wiring automatically we can inject it <coughs> okay and we know static variable dependency injection also right we can inject static variables also so we discussed static variable dependency injection static variable dependency injection so we tested previous applications by using non static variables in last session i showed you how to inject static variable for injecting static variable we have to use one helper class the helper class name is method invoking factory bean <coughs> method invoking factory bean class we have to use right and in case if you have any singleton class or if you have any factory class well making application if you find any singleton classes or if you find any factory classes then you have to know here how to create that singleton classes objects and factory classes objects by using spring do you have any singleton classes in our jdk singleton classes and factory classes is there any singleton what is singleton definition we need to ensure that only one single instance throughout the main stack or entire application per application one object need to be create so singleton definition ensure that only one object need to create for entire main stack or else in brackets you can write per application per main method in simple words per main method per main method one object it will create so if you take any servlet web application how many main methods that web application will use only one main method it will use so for that main method it will use one stack one main stack <coughs> for main thread you can call it as main thread also 
or you can call application per application per application it will use one single instance or per main thread it will use one single instance and if you have any singleton class how to create that singleton classes objects by using spring is there any singleton class in our jre resource bundle class in our util package we have one resource bundle class in java.util package we have one class resource bundle we have to use it for internationalization right so in this resource bundle class actually this resource bundle class is singleton class if you try to create a resource bundle class instance by using new keyword resource bundle rb equal to new resource bundle this resource bundle class constructor it will not allow us to call by using new keyword this constructor is not actually access accessible then how to create this class object they given one static method by calling that static method you can get this resource bundle class object they given one static method how to call static methods without object we can call right so without object you can call that class static method that method name is get bundle get bundle of we need to pass a properties file base name like if you have a properties file messages dot properties that properties file base name only we have to pass messages let's say if you have properties file messages dot properties that properties file base name only we have to pass without any extension then it will pro provide one resource bundle class object the same object again if you try to create resource bundle rb2 resource bundle dot get bundle by giving same properties file it will return same instance this same instance again it will return it will return same instance if you compare these two objects resource bundle 1 double equal to resource bundle 2 it will return as true so what here they are doing in this resource bundle class they are not giving access through the new keyword and if you want to create object of this resource bundle class the only way is get bundle method that to this get bundle method is a static method so to call a static method we don't need any object just by using class name we can call method so by using this class name if you call this method this method will return as this object means internally this method what it need to do at least this method need to create object so internally this resource bundle class get bundle method which class method it is this class method only so this resource bundle class get bundle method internally it is creating object of same class and that object it is returning to the user so how many objects internally it is creating whenever you try to request to first time it will create object then again and again if you try to call instead of creating object already existing instance reference it will return to us why they are doing here why they are returning same instance instead of creating one more new object whenever you try to load same properties file here if you have content key, key value page if you have key one key and one value if you have here if you try to load the same properties file multiple times by using this this resource bundle and by using this resource bundle reference the same content we will get here right so if the content is same why it should create multiple objects as a user as a developer if you try to call multiple times in case if it create one more new object no use right the same content we are trying to loading here and here so whenever you try to load same content then why it should create multiple objects unnecessary of jvm heap consumption right so in case if you don't want consume more heap memory in case of static content in case if your class if it contain any static content 
you no need to consume much heap memory right in case if your class if it contains only static content if developer if you try to create instance for thousand times if it is not single turn it will create thousand objects for thousand objects it will consume heap memory so instead of consuming heap memory for static objects you can keep that object reference under stack then it will create only one single reference it will create only one single object so by creating only one single object you can reduce number of objects under heap so the main goal of singleton classes reducing number of instances but in which use case this singleton classes are recommended in case if that class if it contains static content if it contains dynamic content then no use if it contains any dynamic content but if you make it singleton what happens one user values may override by another user values surlet classes are singletons surlet class is not singleton right is it having any private constructor internally no surlet class is not singleton class but your tomcat container will make it as a singleton so tomcat container is here factory that factory making your surlet class singleton okay so factory classes also can make other classes object singletons and that class itself also it can become as a singleton surlet class is not singleton and inside surlet if you put any content factory will make it singleton so that same content any number of users they can access so inside singleton class if you put any dynamic content anyone can access it so your values may override by another user values also so inside singleton class that's why class instance level data is not recommended if it is not unshareable then you should not keep it that data under class instance level if you put what happens any user can access from his service method okay so in case if your class if it contains a dynamic content then it is not recommended to create it as a singleton <laughs> so this singleton classes objects how we can create by using spring how to create singleton classes objects by using spring and we have we have some more classes those classes will not allow us to create instance directly calendar class if you see calendar how to create calendar class instance if you want to create calendar class instance there is one method get instance by using that get instance method only we can create calendar class object directly by using new keyword you can't able to access it but if you see spring actually in this calendar class they given one private constructor so directly you can't able to access it here but spring will access private constructors right in case if a class if it contains any private constructor let's say if your class if it is test and here if you have a private constructor private test can you create this class object by using spring we can create just if you declare this class under xml file what spring will do spring will create this class object so in the same way if i configure this calendar class here under beans if i configure it like test class class test inside calendar also in our jre they given one calendar class under util package in this calendar class also they given one private constructor so if i try to create this calendar class object bean id c and a class name if i configure calendar here so your spring will create object right spring will create this calendar class object also why in jre why sunday given this method get instance method why they are not giving access to the users there is some reason inside this get, get instance method they are preparing calendar date and they are returning if you try to create by using new constructor it will not provide that date and and all the things whatever we required so here to create a calendar object the recommended method is get instance method but that recommendations we are not following here by using spring spring creating private constructor class object also right but your calendar class will not allow us to create object by using spring also 
whenever you try to access private constructor whenever you try to access private constructor of some given singleton classes that classes will throws illegal access exceptions internally that constructors will throws exceptions instead of creating objects so in case of user defined singleton classes we are not actually throwing any exception here in case if you throw that ex same exception here spring can't able to create object for private constructors directly it will create but if you create any exception here while trying to accessing it it may throws that exception right so private constructor classes object if you don't want create just you need to keep a exception here you need to create a you need to create a exception here throw new illegal access exception so if you create a exception like this whenever you try to whenever you try to configure the test class here whenever you try to load this test class into your ioc container ioc will try to access this private constructor this test class private constructor whenever you try to access this private constructor here internally if you create a exception illegal access exception that exception it will throws to the ioc okay then ioc also it can't able to create this class object. then how i need to get i mean if you need to get this class object how you can get that class object here you need to use this methods right if there is no way to create object by using private constructor then must you need to go through this methods you can call this methods like factory methods you can call this method as a factory method you can call this methods as a factory methods <coughs> so by using this factory method only we have only one way to create object by using factory method in spring if you required calendar class object must you need to use factory method then by using this factory method only you have to create calendar class object <coughs> 